Kanye West is upping his bizarre anti-Semitic tirade, now praising Adolf Hitler and even posting images that surpass Elon Musk's apparent new tolerance for hate speech on his recently acquired Twitter. CNN's Brian Todd has been working this story for us. Brian, to say that Kanye West's words are, uh, are beyond the pale, that's, that's an understatement. So outrageous, Alex, that it's hard to imagine what Kanye West can do to top all of this. Tonight, anti-hate groups are sending serious warnings about the possible consequences of West's latest actions. Kanye West's brazen anti-Semitism is rolling on, unabated. Despite losing deals with Adidas, The Gap, Vogue and other corporations over his recent DEFCON 3 on Jews tweet, West appearing in an odd black mask on InfoWars, a show hosted by conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, praising Adolf Hitler. I see good things about Hitler also. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. There's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. West has apparently jumped so far off the deep end that he's even too outrageous for Elon Musk's new Wild West Twitter. The rapper, who now goes by the name Ye, has just had his account suspended by Twitter. CNN could not confirm which specific tweet prompted the suspension. But just before it happened, West tweeted an image of a Star of David with a swastika inside. Then Musk tweeted, I tried my best. Despite that, he again violated our rule against incitement to violence. While I want to see Twitter do more to address intolerance and incitement on the platform, I'm glad they've taken down Kanye's account. Why should we care about the rants of an ostracized artist like West? Jonathan Greenblatt of the Anti-Defamation League points to West's 30-plus million followers on Twitter before his account was suspended. The truth is, he still has a lot of cultural cachet. His name is still, you know, known around the world. So when someone like that is popularizing anti-Semitism, we've all got a problem. But if you think Elon Musk has ridden in to save social media from the likes of Kanye West, think again. Despite Musk's recent declaration that hate speech had been reduced on Twitter since he took over, two new studies show the opposite. The Anti-Defamation League and the Center for Countering Digital Hate both have new reports saying the volume of hate speech on Twitter has risen dramatically under Musk's leadership. Elon Musk took over a platform that was working okay and, set, and first of all fired all the people whose job it was to clean these things up and second he put up the bat signal saying you know what we're open to business, to, to racists, to homophobes, to transphobes and to misogynists too. And Imran Ahmed warns there's genuine danger here, beyond the keyboard anonymity of social media rants. Look at the rise in transphobic hatred on social media platforms and homophobic hatred, and look at what happened in Colorado Springs. Now, Twitter did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the two new studies showing that there's a surge of hate speech on Twitter. Meanwhile, President Biden has tweeted that the Holocaust happened, that Hitler was a demonic figure, that political leaders have to reject anti-Semitism, and that, quote, silence is complicity. Alex? It is disgusting and dangerous. Brian Todd, thank yeah. you so much for that report. Appreciate it.